Thank you. <laughs> Good to be here. I've come here from England because I'm sick of gigging in England. Every gig I do, I have to follow this act where, like, it's like loads of people for ages pretending to puke. And I've had enough. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'll come to America while I'm treated like an artist. And let me tell you, I am furious right now. <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. <laughs> anyway, recently I had a police officer explain witness protection to me. You don't need to know why. <laughs> he goes, James, when someone goes into witness protection, he or she is given a new identity, then he or she is relocated, then he or she spends the rest of their life under government protection. I like the way he put it. <laughs> I like when people say he or she. Cos he or she is only ever said by men <laughs> who are fully intended on just saying he <laughs> and at the very last second remembered that she exists. <laughs> Pretty cool. Every time. That's why it's always said, he or she. <laughs> like, it's just popped into their head. They can't believe it. They're so defensive immediately. Or she. I didn't say they couldn't. I got in there before the next word. You've got nothing on me. Or she. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, women never say he or she, man. They use a different word. Men don't even know this word. It's confusing and disorientating to men. Women say, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, they. <laughs> 99% of men have no idea what they means. If a 1% think it means he, it's a confusing word. <laughs> I said to this police officer, what's, what's your problem, man? You explaining when it's protection to me? Never heard the word they before? It's like, uh, fine, sorry. <laughs> when someone goes into witness protection, they or she... <laughs> what a sneaky cop. What a sneaky cop that guy was. I want to go to Italy, personally. <laughs> Leontara Pisa is my favourite landmark in the world, surrounded by people from all over the globe, all having their photos taken, all spookily doing the exact same pose. <laughs> it's a classic, you've all seen it. It's a, it's a perspective trick. <laughs> you line it up. It makes it look like you're holding up the tower from a distance. It's very clever and very funny. <laughs> all doing it, bar none. Every single one of them, a field full of people, all doing that. And all of them, when they have their photo taken, have a smug look in their eye, as if to say, I came up with this. <laughs> It's my idea. <laughs> it's not their idea. <laughs> Someone came up with that once, back in the day. Someone invented that, and he or she was the only person... <laughs> could have been a woman. Previous not a woman, mate, you misogynist. <laughs> he or she invented it. One person doing it once. There was one person doing that in a field full of people not doing it. Everyone else was doing some of the old ones. A uh, bit, bit of that, that one. <laughs> That's a classic, isn't it? <laughs> That's still going strong to this day, actually. <laughs> well, fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we all love a bit of there it is, don't we? <laughs> the hand says there it is, but... <laughs> The eyes say, and here I am. <laughs> I went to Pisa, had my photo taken. I didn't do that. I didn't even do that. I refused. <laughs> Flat out refused. What I did when I had my photo taken, got even further away, so the tower was even smaller, and all those people, they were really tiny as well. And then I lined it up, so I had about three, three little guys all holding me up. I love Paul. Thank you.
you very much, everybody. I'm from England. It's been very nice to see you all.